daily exercise and it, uh, it leads me to uh, very often to churches. Um, obviously Easter weekend, this is the first Easter weekend in that I haven't been to Mass, which was quite, quite, quite tough, uh, not going to lie. But um, on to happier memories. When I lived in France, um, the French, you know, French is one of those few languages that doesn't seem to have the phrase tone it down. Every single time that I went to Mass around this period, there was always something that they were doing, and I could never... Sometimes I would just go to church and I wouldn't necessarily know, know even what the thing was that we, <laughs> that we were supposed to be celebrating. And I find that just so, so sometimes just so incredibly weird. Like there was this this one time, uh, and uh, everybody just started to assemble outside the cathedral after mass. And um, the Archbishop of Wren came out carrying uh, the Blessed Sacrament. And then there was this whole like parade. And um, and I followed the parade. I had absolutely no idea what it was what it was for. Um, and uh, we were just parading through the streets of Wren, and then we got to this. We got to this church, um, All Saints Church in Wren. Absolutely stunning church, by the way. Absolutely stunning. It's it's honestly it will knock your socks off. If you if you're ever in Wren, I wouldn't just say go to the cathedral, but I would also say you know you've got uh, Saint Saviour's Basilica, which is uh, which is uh, just immense. Uh, all of these things are are, are pretty. Pretty, pretty uh, impressive. The churches in France just generally are. Um, like I say, it's they're, they're a country that doesn't seem to understand the phrase "tone it down." But um, yeah, so it was like it was only when we got to the church that I realised, oh, they're opening a new church this week. It was only when we got to, um, and then there was like a couple of weeks later, I think there was one for some kids who were having their first Holy Communion, and then I think there was another one for. Um, there was another one for, uh, like, it was just every single week there just seemed to be some reason to have some kind of, like, parade or party at church. And I was just like, Catholics. <laughs> it's like when you're abroad, you realise they really know what they're doing. Like, it's like, it's just, it's, 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 it's something else, it really is. Um, the one thing I would say is if anyone's a little bit stuck and they do want to go for a walk, um, do have a look for where your local church is. Because nine times out of ten, uh, it's a historical landmark, you know, and it's, it's uh, if you've got nothing better to do, you can do a lot worse than to stand in the sun for a little bit, just appreciating a church. You don't necessarily have to be religious, but I think the architecture is generally something quite special, so... You know, if, it's, if you get the opportunity to take a breath in that way, that's, that's certainly something that I would suggest. Anyway, the mortal words of Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other.